Turns out I was wrong about one aspect of mountain ash. I've done quite a bit about Team Wolf's go-to supernatural barrier builder, but I messed up on one key point and viewers were quick to let me know about it. I had contended that Hellhounds and the Oni were the only creatures to defeat a mountain ash barrier on the Teen Wolf TV show. The Hellhound, because it literally heats up the air around the wood dust until it burns away, and the Oni, because their corporeal bodies and weapons are made from the same telluric energy as the barrier. And if you apply enough contact, that energy will eventually synchronize. But a bunch of y'all said the Ghost Riders could also break a barrier. And to that, I said an unequivocal no. In my defense, I said that because the big plan to capture a Ghost Rider in the Season 6 episode Heartless included a Faraday cage and a circle of mountain ash. Go! Go! But there is another mountain ash scene earlier in the episode Sundowning, and that one features a ghost rider who does seem to physically break the barrier. We can't let him get through. Guys? My speculation on how it does this is pretty simple. The whip is actually an interdimensional conduit that sends people off into the Wild Hunt's way station. Those flashes you see when the whip strikes the barrier are a visual representation of the whip breaking through from our dimension into the wild hunt dimension. It's the split second of being out of phase with the real world that allows the whip to ultimately pass through and latch onto Gwen. My only guess as to why this Ghost Rider didn't try the same thing is because it did not have access to lightning. Its energy source was blocked by the Faraday cage and the whip had no way to cross the dimensional barrier. 